right, we got more of them, everybody. All right, here he comes, everybody. Everybody, I want you to give it up big for Johnny Corn. Pro Woodside, how's everybody going? Before I get into my routine, I, I, I just gotta say, uh, Woodside has a place in my heart because my dad used to teach at the Woodside Priory. Uh, that is actually true. Yeah, so give it up for Woodside. Uh, yeah, my, my name is Johnny Corn, um, and uh, how, how long have you guys been together? Just out of curiosity. Zero days. Zero days. You met today? We had a midterm. Yeah, midterm. Right. Okay. Any, any couples here? Yeah. Uh, Friday, I will have been with my wife for 27 years. And uh, I, I remember the day she moved in, because it's about the day I lost control of the remote. So watch whatever she's watching. She watched stuff like, you know, House Hunters International, which is fantastic, right? But now things have changed. She's starting to watch shows like Snapped. Almost got away with it. Wives with knives. <laughs> She's trying to write notes. Side night smells like almonds. Should I be concerned? Just, yeah. But, but the thing about her is that uh, she's very proud that we've been together for, uh, for, for 27 years. So she tells people that. But see, she also tells people that she's 39. Now, don't get me wrong. She can pass for 39. But people start doing the math. Oh, you're terrible. No, she made me into a pervert, right? Yeah. Yeah. You know, uh, anyone here lie about their age? Where are you from? Uh, I, anyone here lie about their age? I do. I always tell people I'm 10 years older than I actually am. I'm the same so, 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 right? So then when people look at me, they go like, oh my God, you look fantastic. I'll take a compliment because I'm shallow. Yes. No. But, but my, exactly. My, my real, I'm glad you can connect. It's fantastic. Uh, but, but my real age, I'm 48 years old. Right? And you know what that means? In two years, I get my AARP card. That's the license for me to do whatever I want. I'm going to be driving on 280, right? 35 miles per hour, lane splitting with my left turn signal on for 20 miles. I'm going to get pulled over by the cops. And then when they do, I'm going to whip out my AARP card. He's going to look at it. Look at me. Look at it. Look at me. Look at it. Look at me. And then he's going to go, ah, uh, drive a little old. That's funny. You know, you would have gone away with this anyway because you're white. And that's how it's going to happen. What else? A little bit uh, more about me. I actually have three older sisters. Okay? So you know what that means? Hand me downs. So I, I'd end up with yellow quarter and pants and no fly. I, I, I'd end up, I, I, my bike was a hand-me-down, it was a puppy with a banana seat and the tassels. It, it's like my parents wanted me to get beaten up. I'm just telling you, you know? And, and those of us of a certain age, we remember that, that console TV, which was made out of real wood. It was fantastic, it was beautiful, and it didn't work, so we had a smaller TV on top of it. We're the last house... I was the remote control. My dad would, would go like, hey, John, turn it to channel 5. <laughs> and, and, and you guys won't remember this, right? These guys will. You guys won't. But, but here's the thing. We were the last house on the block to get a color television. This is true. We had this old Zenith TV, and the picture tube wasn't even like straight, like square. It kind of curved on the bottom top, and it had one dial. So I had 12 channels, right? And, and so that thing finally died. And we got a color TV, and I realized something. Mary Tyler Moore is in a bunch of colors. Who knew? <laughs> Just having a moment. A little bit more about me. I was born uh, Irish and Catholic, and as a good Catholic, to tell you I have to give up something for Lent. So this year, I give up my New Year's resolution. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm a true Catholic in that I go to church uh, twice a year. Yeah. Uh, the thing about ca being Catholic is it's not necessarily uh, the end of the world. There are some good things. One of the good things about it is that you got holidays off, no matter how stupid the holidays were. If it was a Catholic holiday, you got it off, right? A good example of that is Columbus Day. You get a holiday for getting lost. 
He's trying to find his spice to India, ends up in the Caribbean, which is slightly off course. All he had to do, go into any of these tech firms and they could have told him where India was. 